Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see an another Excel activity for the subject Applied Mathematics 241 for class 12. In this video, we are going to see how to find the inverse of a given matrix. How to find the inverse of the given matrix using Excel. In the spreadsheet, how to find the inverse of a matrix. We all know inverse of any given matrix is adjoint A by the determinant A. Before getting into this process, we uh, will check whether the given matrix is a singular matrix or not. Singular matrix means the determinant value is 0. The singular matrix inverse does not exist. Just keep that in mind. But here we need not check whether the given matrix is singular or not. Just if the value of the inverse does not exist means we can say that the given matrix is a singular matrix. Okay. Same like matrix multiplication. Here also uh, the given matrix A is a 2 by 2 matrix. I have to find the inverse of this 2 by 2 matrix. So I have selected a space of 2 by 2. Now, select the space of 2 by 2 for the given 2 by 2 matrix. Same like matrix multiplication, go to the equation part equal to the syntax is equal to there it was multiplication. So, you put M mult. Here it is invert. So, for matrix M for uh, inverse M inverse M inverse open the bracket click the first cell of your given matrix hyphen the last element of the given matrix now you can see the entire matrix is selected close your bracket control plus shift plus enter you got the value of the inverse here the value which is displayed here is the exact inverse of the given matrix A. While we do calculations now in matrix chapter, you would have got the result in the fraction part outside because 1 by determinant will be written outside the result and the matrix part will be of whole numbers. But here that 1 by determinant value is put inside and simplified answer we are getting. So you will be getting the answer in decimals only hope you understand this yes now the second matrix b it is a 3 by 3 matrix the inverse are available only for the square matrices we know that now i am selecting a space of 3 by 3 go to my equation bar put equal to m inverse Open the bracket, click the first element of your matrix, hyphen, click the last element of your matrix. Now the entire matrix is selected, put control, ok, close the bracket, control plus shift, enter. You got the value of B, inverse, the inverse of the matrix B. Same way, the example C. The matrix C, my third example, I have selected the 3 by 3 space. Go to my equation bar equal to M inverse. I opened the bracket, click the first cell of my required matrix, hyphen, click the last cell of my required matrix. The entire C matrix is selected. Now close the bracket. Control plus shift plus enter. The value is not displayed. It means the resultant matrix, the given matrix is a singular matrix. As the given C matrix is singular matrix, the inverse of C does not exist. So like this, we can find the inverse of the given matrix. The syntax for that is M inverse. Open the bracket, click the first cell, hyphen, click the last cell.
click the last cell, close the bracket and press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter. Okay. Hope you understand how to find the inverse of the matrix. Uh, every time I am saying the right side part, this is the right up part, right up part to be done in our record notebook. The left side part, we have to work it out. For example, if uh, we can, uh, if we are given three, four matrices, work out one by n using the Excel. Same way you will get the result. Take a printout of this part and stick it in the left side. Such a way we can maintain the math record notebook also for the subject applied mathematics. Hope this video will be useful to you. Thank you.